guys in this video i will teach you how to charge your 12 volts batteries with a solar panel safely now this is the bug boost module that you might have seen in my previous videos so i'm going to use this and this is a 12 volt 7 ah battery and uh, this is just a 24 volts 2 amperes dc motor that i'm going to test with the solar panel in cloud in cloudy mode and when there is sunlight this video is sponsored by PCB Wave. It sells quality PCBs and has dropped its price to $30 for 1 to 20 pieces of assembly orders. Also guys, here you can see thousands of positive customer reviews which makes it one of the best PCB manufacturing company. Link is in the description. So this is the solar panel that I installed at the top of my house around 8 years ago. So it is 8 years old so I took out from my panel set. Let's measure its voltage that it is generating so as it can be seen uh, the voltage is around 17.4 uh, volts you can see that it is showing uh, the year 2011 yeah and the voltage is low because it is all cloudy because uh, monsoon is on its way and it is going to start raining really soon so that's the reason yeah now let's measure the amps that the solar panel is generating and uh, the voltage is not uh, that much affected by sunlight but uh, the amps are affected you can see that it is generating only 0 0.10 amps which is very less for a 38 watts solar panel. Now let's test this DC motor. This is a small DC motor so obviously this panel is going to start it but the torque is not going to be high enough. So as soon as I will put some pressure on its shaft it will stop. So guys as you can see that the motor has started running although uh, the torque is not good enough now at present I cannot test a bigger motor with the solar panel because there is no sunlight to power it up Now let's measure the voltage across the terminals of this 12 volts battery and as can be seen it is only 12.26 volts while uh, the voltage on the panel is around 17.35 volts so there is a lot of difference between the volts so for that reason it is not advised to connect the panel directly to the battery because at some point the panel is going to overcharge the battery and at that point your battery is going to get damaged you can see that the voltage across the battery terminals is increasing slowly 12.66 then 12.67 and that will increase really fast when there is sunlight now I've got some sunlight let's measure the voltage the panel is producing and it is 19.74 almost 20 volts you can see as the sunlight has increased the voltage has also increased and the current will increase even higher the current is around 1.50 amps enough to light up a car indicator bulb 12 volts car indicator bulb now this is a 480 watts 24 volts DC motor that I'm running with this solar panel now this DC motor is a high torque and high power DC motor and the panel is just able to run it and also the torque is medium I won't say very high because you're not getting full power let's connect the boost converter module bug boost module to the solar panel and remember to connect positive to the positive and negative to the negative 
always because it is going to damage the module if the terminals are connected in the reverse mode. So the bug boost module is producing 14.26 volts which is exactly what we need to charge any 12 volts battery to its full value. And the amps, it is boosting the amps to 0.5. And you can see the panel amps are only 0.15 or 0.18. But the amps from the boost converter, bug boost module, are much higher. At least three times as high as the amps directly from the panel. So let's connect the bug boost module to the battery positive to the positive and negative to the negative now initially the charge will jump because uh, the capacitor on the bug boost module is fully charged to 14.26 but when I will connect it will get loaded and will stabilize back to an average value yeah at present it is stabilizing and it will go somewhere around 12.44 and then it will start increasing with time So this is the closer view for the connections of the terminals of module to the panel and module to the battery and the multimeter. So yeah guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching it and this is how you can safely charge your 12 volts battery if it's from a car or if it's from a motorbike or a UPS battery. Thank you.